uh, whenever we will start the class now on Saturday, I am trying to make a rule that uh, we will first understand that what actions can be taken by the project manager in this situation, who will take the options. So kind of a rules, because what I am feeling since many people are doing the same mistakes and they are always forgetting. So all of you try to answer on the mic. I have no problem with it. Rules of uh, stakeholders. Let's keep it like this. So now if I ask you the first question, uh, who will approve change in uh, traditional project? What do you think? CCB, sir. The steering okay. committee or CCB. It should be approved by change control board or steering committee. Steering committee. Right. Who will resolve? Okay, let's keep it all tradition. Who will resolve conflict between team members? PM. All of you think same? Uh, who will resolve conflict with external stakeholders? Who is responsible? External like contractor, supplier. Also PM, sir. Also PM. This is uh, maybe uh, alternate dispute, dispute, what you call ADR or PM. First, PM will try to solve it. If not, he or she will escalate to ADR, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Or first responsible, then ADR. First PM, sir, then ADR. No, after PM? After PM, if he could not be able to solve, then ADR, sir. A sponsor has nothing to do with external stakeholders. You guys agree with yeah, that? Sponsor. Right? His sponsor is just giving us the money to perform the work. If your contractor is not working, it's your problem, not a sponsor problem. Maybe you have seen the course in an exam that you cannot get the things, resources from the supplier. What you will do? You will escalate to the sponsor. You will escalate to the higher management. Or you will do something. So a sponsor will never be the answer. Correct? Navid, you are getting the point? Yes, sir. Perfect. And uh, which document will be used for conflict management? for external stakeholders. Contracts. Uh, procurement management plan. I will not write it until I get the correct answer. You need to resolve the conflicts between external stakeholders uh, or you need to minimize them or you need to manage the conflicts. You can use this document. It will be the guideline for everyone. What we call this expected behaviors. Expected behaviors. In which document will be written? You guys forgot this, right? Oh, good. Ground rules are for the not for the team, sir. Now this is the second question. What I should write here now. Yeah. 
What is the name of the document? Team Charter. Sir. Yes. Okay. Sir, can, you, guys... can, you, can you just yeah, explain this uh, ground rules? Uh... Look, we established some ground yeah. rules. Like if you remember in class, I used to take the example that you are looking from your window. One of the external stakeholder came directly to your team member and I started influencing them. I got it, got it, got it, sir. Got it. Right? I so got... you will write these yes. things in the ground rule that talk to mm -hmm. me. I will talk to anyone. So it's like a ground rule for us. Okay. Uh, if you, we are making decisions, we will have make decisions on reports or on the performance. It could be anything. So that's what the ground rules. Team charter, how we will sit together, decisions and so on. Internal disciplines. Now you guys give me 10 skills for project manager. You can type it on chat in the window. 10 skills a project manager should have. There are more, but give me 10. You can type it on the chat window. List. That is skills for PM and uh, you can send me on the chat. I will type it, I will paste it here. Yeah, write 10 and then press enter. Still waiting. Anyone has finished? Yeah. Okay. Based interpersonal conflict. One of the important is missing. Which is what is the most task of project manager. Where he or she should spend the time. Communication, sir. Right? So communication. One, two, three, four, five, six. And alerting the skills, right? That he can or she can analyze the information and analytical skills. Uh, they can make decision making. They should have business acumen as per the triangle. Strategic skills related to project and so on. So these are the tasks in. Traditional, uh, which document is required 
to start the project planning. What do you think? Project charter. Exactly. What is the name of project charter in Agile? Vision statements. Who create these documents? Product owner. Product. Vision statement by product owner. Or sponsor. Uh, sponsor. Sponsor. Charters are document by sponsor. Project manager or product owner can assist sponsor in preparing, but major role is sponsor. Look, these are the basic points. If you are missing these terminologies, it will be very difficult for you to answer the question in the exam. If you don't know what they are doing, what they have to do, what they are supposed to do. So if I now change it to the agile part, uh, in these are very basic things. If you know the answer, like I've been giving so many exams, you guys know that how many exams I've given. All the exams I do with the same technique that you should know the basics, where the project management stands. Then after that, whatever happens, whatever they write in the questions, just read who is doing what. If you go with this thing, who is doing what your answer is 100% correct because you know I make the whole story uh, like we used to do in our English comprehension with that we need to, you guys remember that uh, we need to find subjects, we need to find objects, we need to find the prepositions. You guys remember that type of exercise which we used to do in the schools or now our kids are doing in the schools that the school gave them a passage and you have to underline the subjects, cross the objects, uh, circle the preposition, something like this. This is it. Don't make your life in a very discomfortable way that you cannot find that, okay, I don't know, the question is saying something, English is going somewhere, information. Whatever happens, you have to stick to the plan that who is doing what in project management. That's what the stakeholder about, that which stakeholder will be for what purpose. If you know that, do whatever you like. Your answer is there. This is the strategy of passing any exam, not only PMP. Who is doing what? So similarly, if I say uh, trainings to the team will be, if team member needs training, who will provide them? PM, sir. We can call him PM. What else we call him? Coach, right? They will arrange it. They will not do by themselves. They can do in the community of practice sessions, but not in the real way. They will arrange it. Uh, training will be impediment, obstacle, or blocker. Obstacle. Because if the training is not there, your work will be stopped or your work will not be of the same quality. So if it is quality related, it will be impediment. If it is uh, like mandatory requirement, it will be the obstacles. And if you are waiting for the permissions from a sponsor or from a the higher management or the person is not free to give you the trainings, then it's the blocker. So in any case, whether it's impediment, obstacle, blocker, who should be removing it? Who should remove it? PM master or PM sir. Yeah, project manager or scrum master. Now, if you have multiple teams, if you have multiple teams, 
who will remove for all teams. Who will remove impediments, obstacles, or blockers for all the teams? Product owner, yeah, or senior scrum master, sir. Senior scrum master, right? Because senior scrum master is the guy uh, who handles multiple things. Uh, what we call meeting, where we discuss, uh, where we discuss what we will do in the upcoming iteration. Think planning. Planning meeting, I right? Think. Who are the participants of planning meeting? Project team. Who should? Team. Product plus. owner, team members. Product owner. Uh, just a Project minute, please. manager. Project manager. Yes, product owner, team, and project manager. Man. They are the mandatory guys. Great. Uh, in retrospect, what we do? Retrospect, we will verify what happened wrong yeah, during the process. We will review, right? We will review the what? We're wrong in the process or quality, quality. or what troubles we troubles. faced. Faced. And yes. how to avoid it, right? Yes. And how to do differently or newly in or new ways will decide the new ways for the ne next uh, process or next project. Yes. How to do differently or How newly in the next iteration or in the next phase. Next Perfect. And what will be the thing for the review meeting? We will verify the things. Uh, the progress. We we'll check uh, as per the definition of done, sir. Minimum viable product. We'll check. We will check based upon the definition of radio, definition of done. 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 Where we will check definition of ready? So this review meeting is iteration review, right? Yes. Definition of ready will be checked here. Right? Review. Yes. So, definition of review and definition of done. Great. So, who will provide you the definition of done? PO, sir. Team. Project team. Project team will define the 
definition of done. Definition of ready will be by the team. Definition of okay, done okay. will be by the uh, stakeholders from where you are collecting the stories. Yeah. So product, product owner. Yeah, product owner will product collect owner. the definition of done and definition okay. of ready. That. Great. So, and then we have what uh, if team A we say the client will provide the definition of done and yeah, product the custom, owner will collect. Oh, sure. Exactly. Product owner yes. will collect from the stakeholders. Okay. If team A has problem in a task and team B is waiting for the result from team A, what PM of A will or should do? what you should do if you are PM of team A. Team B is waiting the results from you, but you team A has a problem. What you will do as team, team A. He will look for oh, well, impediments and support, sir. And? Navid, you were saying something. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Support. We will, uh, we will ask some additional support. Uh, from, uh, some, this is what uh, I need to know. Additional yeah, support additional from support. whom? Uh, you said it earlier. But now you can't recall it. Five minutes before yeah. you said it. Which is? You will engage? Expert. expert. Senior Scrum expert. Master. Oh. And? product owner because first thing you have to do what you have to communicate communicate first that something right? is communicate happened. first yeah. then you will hide hire the sme like in uh, discipline agile we have something called as business experts or domain experts yeah we will hire them to facilitate the first thing is you need to communicate because they are waiting so product owner should be alerted that okay, okay there could be a potential delay and how to deal with it so these are you know look whatever i will rephrase the questions situation will remain same ultimately nothing is going to change you must stick to the plan this is like basics i think let's finish it for today that's more than enough let's go and solve some questions and then now, now you have a brain strong, right? Your brain somehow has adapted to the situation. Now let's go. What is next on the screen? On the question. Now let me read it, and I will try to highlight it also. That how will I read it? A project sponsor has been replaced by a steering committee due to a significant increase in project size. How should the project manager approach the stage? Now you can answer on the chat window, please. Tailor communications to the new steering committee. Follow the initial plan. Schedule a low-key introductory meeting or ensure that the new steering committee member receive the project current status. Okay. In any case, this can be the correct answer. I don't know what is written beyond, but in any case, it can be the correct answer. No, sir. It can never be the correct answer, right? Low key introductory meeting. 
what does that mean low key introductory meeting which means you don't want to go and and detail so it can never be the answer ensure that the new steering committee member receives the project current status report or tailor communications to the new steering committee recognizing there has been a change in the stakeholders so question is related to the project status or question is related to the change in stakeholders change in a stakeholder change in a stakeholder so d cannot be the answer right okay look stick to the plan answer is waiting for you to be correct if you know what question is saying you can answer if you don't understand questions do whatever you like it will be the guess mm -hmm. and you will never be confident great so yeah a was the correct answer so that is what our technique is right elimination first remove those things what you don't need it if you don't find an a and d okay i found it that b and c can never be the correct answer in any situations the remaining are a and d now let's read the question and see what they are asking okay question has nothing to do with project status so for sure it will be a go with this approach your answer will always be correct in response to slippages on some task pm reprioritize a number of subsequent tasks to fix the problem this did not work so the project manager needs to escalate the issue which two items will the project manager need to consult choose two situation is what reprioritizations d is confirm one is one will be the d and which two items will the project manager needs to be consulted uh, b stakeholder engagement plan because communication management yes, plan yes, is yes. the subset of it right yes but if you think like this because he wants to escalate this issue look you have reprioritized and you're dealing with issue when you're dealing with issue risk management plan can be the answer risk management plan deals with the risk or issue risk risk, issue, risk. right so when the question is about issue then d is out of the league oh because risk is which has not occurred issue is which has occurred so this is gone now we have removed one remaining four options let's go further so because it's about the change and you need to inform the people right you cannot do the change by yourself directly so stakeholder engagement plan will guide us yeah. that who needs to be informed and uh, what type of who can approve those changes and based upon that you have to communicate the change what you have done so people should know about it okay yeah look if i change the question you guys got the question or confused or uh, let's say it like this why change management plan is not considered an answer if you answer this question it means you can understand it. now after changing also there is a problem so change management plan will not work in this case change management plan will work before right yeah before the reprioritizing a project manager if i write like this project manager wants to reprioritize which yeah they will consult then yeah, he will then go to the change management change management plan and configuration management plan will be two answers will be two answers yes if it is before 
Correct. So before thing is finished, uh, it cannot be the answer. Okay, sir. Only one question. Uh, no, go on. Uh, issue. Issue is the part of a risk. Issue means there is a risk. Risk is risk has occurred. Okay, uh, but like uh, you guys are in quality, right? You are from uh, quality yes. side. Yes. So look, uh, before starting the project, what you perform assurance? Yes. That go and check something. You check something, yes. and you verified it. That yeah, by theory, it seems okay. Yeah. But once you went out, and once a physical thing happens, it's different than what you said. So now something okay. has gone through and it was okay, not I... caught in your report. Report. Okay. It yeah. was not mentioned or you could not get it in your report. But now the new situation says something totally different, which was not in the report. Clear, clear. Like, you know, we do the fire drills, right? In our organizations. And in fire, fire. drills, we say that you should have, uh, everyone should be out, I think, in every organization is different. Let's suppose everyone should be out in two minutes at the assembly area. Correct. And every floor or something has a leader who should take the people out. So when you did the fire drill, people came out by 1.5 minutes. But when actually the fire happened, the people came out after five minutes. Right. So there is an issue, right? The things did not work as they should. Okay. The thing already happened. Yes, now think the fire has already occurred and the response is not working as it should work. Maybe the sprinkler don't work. Maybe the fire, fire alarm does not work. It could be anything. So, it so this be, is not it issue. It will be the issue. Yes. Yeah, it okay. will be the issue yeah. because it has occurred. But until you just checked it on theory basis, you try to prevent it. On theory, we try to prevent it. On the real data, we try to correct it. Corrective correct. action. After correct. issue, you will take corrective action. Before issue, you will take preventive action. Preventive there perfect so b and c were the correct answers great let's go next a governmental agency becomes a key stakeholder on a complex project due to regulatory changes in light of the change pm needs to develop an understanding of this new stakeholder and identify a new high level risk that may result from the change regulatory risk or which type of risk what I told you, they are, what is the probability, Mandate. what is the impact? Mandatory, sir. Mandatory. No, what we call them, low probability and high impact, or very high impact. Yeah. Low probability, but high impact. High risk, impact. Or you can say very high impact because probability is very low, but if it happens, it will be a blast. So we can never ignore the regulatory changes. Which two options should the project manager use? A new stakeholder is added because of the regulatory change. So schedule meetings with the new stakeholders, update the assumptions log, revise the stakeholder engagement plan, check the risk management plan, update the project charter. Yes, Apis, your answer is correct. This is project manager property. No. So when it is not your property, you cannot Change. update it. Yes. So it is gone out of leak. And what I told you, direct action will never be the correct answer, right? Because it is it an issue? We are trying to identify high level risk when it is not an issue. So we will not discuss the assumptions log with it. Similarly, risk management plan can be the answer. What risk management plan contains? Anyone remembers? It contains the definition of probability and impact. It contains the categorization of risk. 
It contains the rules and responsibilities. It contains the frequency of meetings. It contains the criteria of low, medium, and high, which is probability and impact. Uh, what will be the criteria for emergent risk? And so on. So the best answer which meets here is what? A, schedule the meeting with the new stakeholder to understand. And first thing is revise the stakeholder engagement plan. If they said select the three answers, then yes, D could be the correct answer. So if I rank them, this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three by priority. They are asking only two. So one and two. Schedule the meeting and revise the stakeholder because what is happening? You have a new stakeholder. Question is about you have a new stakeholder. So when it is about a stakeholder, we will not discuss risk. We will not discuss assumptions. We will not discuss charter. It's all about stakeholders. So if you find out what is the question about, you can always answer accordingly. Question should keep in your grip, then you are good. If you are flowing here and there, then no. An in, informal and unofficial blog was set up to enhance communications. I think I have saw, seen this answer in risk management also among project team members. The PM was not previously aware of the blog, but now has discovered that they are using it inappropriately, which has caused some offense. So there are two problems. First thing is they have created something without your knowledge. And second thing, it's being used in a bad way also. So what you should do as a project manager? Half is yes, your answer is correct. What about others? Yes, Nikhil, correct. Yes. In this situation, A is the better answer. When it was unofficial, so you cannot do this. And you did not create it, so you cannot do it. And punishment is never the correct option or direct option. So better answer is A. Then stick to the communication management plan. That's what you think. It could be correct somehow till here. But because of this statement, it's out of your league. Great. Next. Project A is developing a customer prototype. The customer includes someone. Prototype scores 95% on fulfillment of the functional requirements, which is in passing score for the quality metrics. Franchise group is unwilling to approve the prototype since it does not fulfill a particular functional requirement. Project product compliance is 95%, but one functional requirement is missing. But the direct customer group gives approval. So some stakeholders agree and some stakeholders do not agree. And this is the functional requirement. How can the project manager handle communication with this situation?
What do you think is the correct answer? Okay, we have confused question. A is already done, right? A is already done. We have corrected the field of it. So it cannot be the answer. Racy matrix for which group approval is needed? Maybe it could be correct, but executive stakeholders do not make decisions for the project. They are not the part of the direct project. Gone. Hold a consultation with franchise group. Okay. So far, it is good. No problem. Show them the direct customer approval and negotiate for the approval. So it's like you are going to them and you're telling them, one has approved, you should go and approve it also. It's just like you are influencing them. Thank the customer for their approval, review the WBS and verify the documentation with the franchise. So B is much better answer than C because C half is correct, but the last part of C is not correct. Uh, if you guys have answered based upon this, so maybe, yeah, as I said, it's done, but this is wrong. It cannot be correct. The last part is totally wrong. So it can never be correct. So always read the question from start till end. Don't get manipulated from the beginning. Maybe you will find some, maybe you will find uh, an incorrect word here at the end. So because of this word, the answer can be wrong. Don't do that. Good. Let's go next. After a project delay, PM determines that a change is needed to ensure quality. PM takes the steps, issue a formal request, communicate the change, receive feedback that the communication approach did not meet stakeholder expectations. What should the project manager do next? Effort to communication. A stakeholder expectation will be defined in communication management plan. What do you think? You will check a stakeholder expectation in communication management plan? No. No, sir. Ensure stakeholder expectations are included in the project management plan by issuing a change request. Hold a meeting with the sponsor. Why you have to understand from the sponsor? You have to go to the stakeholder, right? If I remove this, hold a meeting with the stakeholder to understand their expectation, then it could be the correct answer. Yes, sir. Direct meeting is the correct answer. Right. But in our case, this is not. And again, review the communication management. So communication management has nothing to do with the stakeholder management. So remaining answer is B. Oh, sorry. What we said, ensure stakeholder expectations are included in the project management plan. Here it has a stakeholder engagement plan. So yeah, D is actually the correct answer, not the B. Sorry. That is what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I saw your answer. But then I mix it up. So stakeholder expectations are in D. Stakeholder engagement plan. To see if the process were followed, an update to one or both plans might be warranted. But project management plan? No. Who should approve the project management plan? Stakeholders, sir. Sponsor. Great. Let's move to next. I think we have done it.
question is same, but answers are different. A new stakeholder is there. A new agency is added. What do you think is the correct answer? Yes, Mr. Mr. Black, correct. This is not going to happen. Stakeholder engagement is your direct task. You cannot delegate it to someone directly. And compliance changes are always high. So first thing first, you will do what? A. If a is the correct answer. What will be the correct answer after A? What will be your second step after A? C, sir. C. And then? B. B. Then D. Yeah. And then lastly, could it be? Okay. B. Great. So you guys have been learning in a good way that things can go direct. Okay. A security classified agile software project requires outside expertise and delivery to add a module based on machine learn. An approved supplier asks the PM to join the daily meeting. But the project manager schedule is too full with internal meetings. How could the two teams synchronize interactively, but less frequently? To work with two teams, what you need? Navid, you have given the answer two times before. Exactly half us. Okay. Right? You need to have senior scrub minister. And yeah. they are more than two people. Great. The latest software built for a virtual reality headset release did not include urgent change request already implemented by electronic team. The PU informed the software team about the change during a daily meeting, but no one recorded it. What should the project manager do to avoid this problem in the future? This is project manager task. Any agile? No, no, sir. So it cannot be the answer. This is project manager task. No, sir. PO. They both are the task of PO. And we discussed that this word will never be the correct answer, right? 
exactly it means in a good situation like if it is one to one discussion it could be something else but privately it's out of the league always it should not be your first choice to select now remaining answer is now we have already eliminated the wrong answers so remaining answer is c so it should be the correct answer run an ad hoc retrospect and add the agreed urgent change process to the team chart because by agile you cannot bring the change into the daily meeting any change or any requ new requirement should go into the backlog and then it should be prioritized if you have something urgent and you want to give it like this so please make sure that we update our process otherwise it will keep happening because they are asking how to avoid it so we will update the process so it should not happen again point clear so if point is clear then let's keep the things here it's already nine o'clock and uh, hope for the best if the training is starting from tomorrow if you or your friends want to join most welcome and you, uh, as per the plan we will start something after that week also inshallah